These three psalms that I will be sharing with you are psalms that you should not joke with. Things will begin to go well for you when you start praying with these psalms. Whatever you have been asking God for, expect a result after trying out these psalms. Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my amazing space on the internet. It's your girl Evelyn Ambrose recording from Abuja in Nigeria. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. If you're new to this channel, then you may consider subscribing because here I try my best to encourage you in your walk with Christ. Please consider liking this video now or at the end of this video if you found value in it. Thank you so much for doing that. I would really appreciate that because it will be your contribution of helping this message get to the right people who need this type of video. I pray that God will bless you and meet you at your point of need. Amen. So in one of my videos, this particular video, I mentioned that I needed you to please go down in the comment section and write down in faith what you wanted God to do for you. Now, I saw that a lot of you wrote down your problems, but what I was expecting was that you would write down the solution you needed. So if you are in debt, what you would have written down would be, thank you, Lord, for freeing me from these debts. So you're going to write down in the comment section now. Let's do it again, okay? Write down in the comment section the answers that you are expecting God for. Just believe. And I trust God that he's going to do it for you. So let's get into today's video. On this channel, I have shown you different types of Psalms to read for different things. There are Psalms for protection, there are Psalms for finances, there are Psalms for mercy, and a whole lot of other scriptures that you can read. But today, I want to share with you three different Psalms that you can combine together when asking God for favor. Have you been searching for a job? You will get that job. Is it for marital breakthrough? You will get married. Is it for marriage stability? Try out the Psalms and you will see the wonders of God. Now, at the end of this video, you are going to learn two things. One is you are going to learn the three types of Psalms to say. And the next thing will be the best timing to pray for favor. Now, let's head over to the first thing. The first thing, which is the different Psalms to read for favor, are one you need to ask god for mercy before you start any prayer i have taught you that if you have been on my channel for so long then you would understand the importance of asking god for mercy and i have a video to a psalm that is for mercy and forgiveness but for this video i will be concentrating on psalm 51. now the second psalm you'll be reading is a psalm of surrender you are surrendering everything to god because there is no one else that can help you except God. And for you to be able to surrender to God, then it means that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. It means that you believe that he died on the cross for your sins. If you believe so, then go ahead and surrender to God. And the psalm we'll be using for that is Psalm 1 to 1. Your help has to come from the Lord. And that is why you are looking up to him. So Psalm 1 to 1 is the next Psalm that you would read. Now, the third Psalm that you should add to your prayer is Psalm 100. Psalm 100 is a Psalm of thanksgiving. Somebody might be asking me, why am I thanking God? My darling, it doesn't matter how bad your situation is right now when you decide to thank god for what you are believing him to do it shakes the spiritual realm trust me the act of thanksgiving is very powerful and please don't underestimate this i have taught you that in a lot of videos on this channel because i believe in the power of thanksgiving so go ahead and add some hundred to your prayer. So the second thing you will learn from this video is the right time 
to say this prayer. I have taught you in this video what you should do between 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. And also, this video also tells you what to do when you wake up by 4 a.m. Pray between 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. When you are asking God for something, especially favor, you can pray anytime. But trust me, there are patterns of prayers that you need to understand. And this is one of them. Why is this possible? The world is quiet at that time. It's easier for you to concentrate when praying for favor. So now that you know the Psalms and the right time to pray for favor, I want to encourage you to be consistent with this prayer. If you want to do it for three days, fine. If you want to do it for seven days, go ahead. But if you are seriously looking for God's intervention, then you must be consistent in praying. If you want to wake up 3 a.m., make sure you consistently wake up that 3 a.m. and say this prayer. If it's 4 a.m., 4 a.m., wake up and say this prayer. 5 a.m., 5 a.m., wake up and say this prayer. I believe that that favor you are asking God will locate you. After reading the Psalms, just go ahead and conclude with, you know, a little prayer of request, that thing you're asking God for. Conclude with it and pray to God and just surrender. That's all. You need to pay attention. If you need to get a book and a pen as a viral, then please sleep close to one, okay? And immediately you get that instruction. Make sure you write it down because it's very tricky how you might sleep and not remember what you dreamt about. So please pay attention and immediately that happens, write it down so that you don't forget. All right, beautiful people. Thank you so much. I have come to the end of this video. I hope this video made sense to you. If you liked this video, don't forget to give this video a like. And if you've not subscribed, then now is an opportunity for you to subscribe. That is your contribution to spreading the word of God because it tells YouTube that people like this video and they will push it out to more people. Thank you so much once again for being here with me. And until next time, this is Evelyn Ambrose saying bye.